really like today. So a little bit like a support group, mm -hmm. but sometimes like everyone is sharing their like most like emotional crucible moments I like that a lot. Um, I also feel a lot clearer like I felt kind of a lot of pressure coming into today like you have to have this like idea of your solution and all that and I was like oh my God, I, I don't. Um, but I feel a lot clearer on what that is and I'm finding like actually I kind of do. Like I have this theory of change thing feels like maybe I could actually do it. So um, yeah I feel a little encouraged and I feel very supported. A little bit like Catharsis happened today too, so good. I really liked talking about our crucible moments today, both being able to articulate mine but also hearing other people's. We don't talk about that stuff very often and I think storytelling and reacting to storytelling is a really powerful way to start developing ideas and thoughts. Um, then I really appreciated when we started to take those crucible moments and then define specific statements about what we were passionate about and why. Um, and then the why questions about why those problems, those things we're passionate about, even exist. I think that was actually transformative to me based on like what I'm thinking and what these problem statements are. So I actually have it written down that I need to go think about the whys a little more. <laughs> um, and I'm excited for next, I guess January is probably when we're meeting next, to talk about um, these, the shark tank. and talking to people who perhaps had a bit more experience with leadership and transformational change. So, yay. It was really powerful. I think our, both of us and a lot of people are still really honing in the what. Hmm. Um, we have a lot of good ideas, um, but there's also a lot of logistical things around that that make maybe limit us from really thinking about that. Hmm. Um, and I think a well-needed break and some reflection time will make the next session really powerful. Hmm. For me, I think that I determined what the what was for the rest of my year, seeing as I have half a year left in the core, technically. And so, for me, I pinpointed the what to being, uh, in my department particularly, having high expectations, but how do I manage that with not just myself, but with the rest of my department. And so I've decided that for next semester, I plan on taking the leading role in my curriculum department, even though I'm not technically the leader. But I would like to set some stuff in place so that we are all on the same page as far as pushing our students beyond you know, basics to Socratic seminars and dialogues and debates and things of that nature. And so I'm kind of formulating in my mind how I plan to make my what happen with the one semester that I have left with my school to have high expectations set up within the social studies department. Today I uh, worked a lot closer on developing my theory of change. Um, we had a really good discussion about um, what problem, Nardis and I have very similar problems that we want to solve and it has to do with helping the students figure out um, what their goals are, how to work toward those goals, and we had a really good discussion about what it means to um, like figure out who you are, your identity, and um, I'm excited to go home, read this book a little bit, and kind of keep fleshing out what types of character traits I think I want to instill in my students um, to help them figure out their identity more. Yeah, I agree. I think that one of our big things was like identity and like our identity of ourselves and our identity of our students and um, what do we really want to change and I think that it was tricky for us because it was it wasn't so much like what we want to change within our students but what do we want to change in order for them to create change mm -hmm. um, and I think that once we did the, the, the activity of like asking yourself why five times it was like we did ours separately and it went to two different directions and still it ended up with like the same end result where it was well like how does this relate to why our kids need to figure out who they are um, and like I'm, I'm excited I think that um, whatever we come up with in the next month and some um, I think it'll be good yeah I don't know if it's hard I really like the process I think just a lot of people uh, the, the problems are really vast. Mm -hmm. And so 
And it's kind of, I feel like it's the same thing we ran into in Institute when we tried a backwards lesson plan, is that a lot of us didn't really know how to define what a good assessment looked like. Mm -hmm. So we would just want to think about activities, which is what most teachers kind of start doing, and it's not the way to do it. But we all, like, I think most people find it easier to think about the how. Mm -hmm. um, and I think that's a similar thing going on right now, maybe, that we can cut, we can address problems and we can think about some kinds of hows but we're not really envisioning okay what is it that we want hmm. things to look like in the long term I don't did you hear maybe maybe I'm just projecting but did you hear a lot I you know what you want it to look like which is high expectations right yeah I think mean, for me like the hardest part of the whole process is simply like having the time to do constructive reflection mm -hmm. because I think it's easy to get caught up in the day-to-day -day and trying to survive and trying to grade these papers and be at these meetings that you forget like why you're actually here and you stop reflecting and I think reflecting leads to growth and so actually these are good settings because it actually makes you take time out to like reflect and actually think about why you're here and so I think that's why I was able to like pinpoint what I wanted because because today was all about that and like I woke up this morning and I was thinking about like the meeting what I needed to know for it and so like mm -hmm. I was actually taking the time to do constructive criticism as opposed to a lot of time what I tend to do is dramatic and cynical criticism so I think that's what's good is like actually having the time and like making it a priority to reflect.